Acid for the Children, a memoir, is the coming-of-age story of Flea, born Michael Peter Balsery, the legendary bassist and co-founding member of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The memoir offers a deep and revealing look at his life, starting from his tumultuous, often chaotic childhood, up until the point where he co-founded the band that would make him famous. Flea begins his narrative by describing his early years in Australia with his jazz musician father and loving mother. When he was very young, his parents divorced and his mother remarried a jazz musician named Walter Urban Jr., leading the family to move to the United States. Flea's stepfather was a member of the New York Philharmonic and they settled in New York City, but the glamour of the city did little to stabilize the boy's home life. Walter was loving and supportive but struggled with substance abuse, a theme that would recur throughout Flea's life. Not long after, the family moved to Los Angeles, where Flea entered a world vastly different from his previous surroundings. Here, he was the new kid in a tough neighborhood, and school became a challenging environment strewn with aggressive peers. It was during this period that Flea first encountered feelings of intense alienation, though he also discovered his deep love for music, specifically for the trumpet, which his stepfather had introduced to him. Flea recounts his experience attending Fairfax High School, where his path would cross with many individuals who would later become instrumental in his life, including future Chili Peppers bandmate Anthony Kiedis. He paints vivid pictures of the Los Angeles punk scene of the early 80s, which had a pivotal influence on his personal and musical development. Through these encounters, he was introduced to rock and roll and the bass guitar, which became vehicles for both self-expression and escape. Throughout his teenage years, Flea faced numerous challenges. His home life was erratic, with his mother and stepfather's relationship disintegrating due to addiction and instability. As a result, Flea often found himself seeking solace in various forms of escapism. The memoir highlights his experimentation with drugs and alcohol, which became forms of rebellion, but also served as a means of bonding with peers and navigating the social landmines of adolescence. Flea's raw narrative doesn't shy away from detailing his mistakes and the chaos that often surrounded his younger years, including frequent brushes with the law. However, amid the disorder, Flea was able to channel his energy and angst into music. He formed a close bond with Hillel Slovak, a fellow musician and eventual founding member of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, through their love of music and shared dreams of starting a band. Acid for the Children ultimately leads up to the moment when Flea and his assembled band of talented, like-minded musicians, including Slovak, Kiedis, and drummer Jack Irons, would go on to form what was initially a fun side project. This band would soon emerge as the Red Hot Chili Peppers, a group that blended funk, punk, and rock into an energetic and unique sound that resonated with a vast audience. A recurring theme throughout the memoir is Flea's search for family, a quest influenced by his often unstable and fragmented family life. He delves deep into the relationships that he formed with his friends and bandmates, which provided the emotional support and connection that he craved. These relationships would come to define Flea's understanding of love and loyalty, becoming as central to his life as his music. Flea also touches upon the role of creativity as a means of coping with pain, anxiety, and confusion. Through anecdotes about his first experiences playing music in front of others, his improvisational approach to life, and his budding passion for music and performance, readers gain insight into the evolution of Flea's artistic ethos. Throughout Acid for the Children, Flea adopts a candid, confessional style that captures both the highs and lows of his experiences. The memoir is not just a recounting of events, but a reflection on life lessons learned through hardship and the pursuit of passion. Flea addresses the importance of embracing one's uniqueness, staying true to oneself, and the transformative power of music and art. In the end, the book offers an intimate glimpse into the pre-fame life of an artist who would go on to become a part of one of the most successful rock bands in history. Flea presents a measured self-examination that doesn't quite reach the point of the Red Hot Chili Peppers' rise to fame, choosing instead to focus on the complex interplay of relationships and experiences that shaped him as a person and musician. Through a narrative textured with emotion and a sense of raw vulnerability, 
Acid for the Children delivers a story of survival, identity, and the lifelong impact of finding one's voice in a chaotic world. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.